Hey scholars, I hope you are having a fantastic day. And today we're gonna to work on module six, lesson nine, application problem and fluency. You will need some paper and pencil for both activities. So let's go ahead and get started with our application problem. All right, so our application problem for today says Emmy and Julio together have 17 pet mice. How many mice might each child have? And then we also have this extension at the bottom, where it says who has more and how many more does that child have? So today we are just gonna work through this together and we're not gonna do the cute strategy for this one. But let's go ahead and talk through it. Before we begin, I will give you a hint. There is more than one correct answer to this problem. So in our math school, we know that we have Emmy and Julio, and together they have 17 pet mice. Do you know your part or your whole? You know your whole because it says that together they have 17, but you do not know how many Emmy has or how many Julio has. So you're missing your two parts and we have to solve for that today. So for today, you can either do a math drawing or you can just write a simple number bond. I am going to write a simple number bond so you know that 17 is your whole. So your number bond. Is 17 going to go here? No. Is it going to go here? No, because those are my two parts. 17 is going to go here for my whole, and now you have to think of two numbers that you can add together that will equal 17. I am going to give you, hmm, I'll give you a little bit extra time, I'll give you 45 seconds to think of two numbers that you can add together that will equal 17. And remember, there is more than one correct answer. So your mark, get set, go. Have 30 seconds. Go ahead and finish up what you have so far. Uh, and that's our time. So remember, I told you that there can be more than one correct answer. So here it is. Any of these four number bonds, then go ahead and give yourself some thumbs up. You, all you have to do is pick one. But then, if you also have any of these at the bottom, you are also correct. So remember, there was more than one correct answer. For today, I'm gonna look at this one right here. Where my, one of my parts is six and the other part is 11. So, if you want to do a number five, you like this, or if you want to do a math, all you could have done a tape diagram. Where I, I'll have six here, and then I have 11 here. And let's just say I can do Six for Emmy, so I'm gonna do E right here and 11 for Julio. But then I have to answer the question how many mice might they have each? So that's what my statement is gonna come in. So I did six plus 11 equals 17. And then my statement says Emmy could have six mice and Julio could have 11 mice. If you want to do the extension where it asks who has more, and how many more does that child have? That's the number of sentences I'll have here because you want to know who has more. So I'm going to take my two parts and I will subtract them to find a difference. 
So my life is going with 11, so I'll be sure to start with that one, and it'll be minus 6. And I knew that there was a difference of 5. So looking at my picture, who has more? Julio would have more. So it's, it would say Julio has 5 more. Pet mice. And that's all for our application problem. So now we can go ahead and get started with our fluency practice, which we'll be doing two sprints for today. You still have one minute and 30 seconds to complete them. Let me go ahead and get my timer ready. And pay very close attention to these number sentences as well. Here we go. Time work. Get set. Go. You have one more minute left. seconds. All right, that's our time. Let's go ahead and go over our answers together. Starting from number one and working our way down. So we have six, 16, 26, 15, 25, 35, seven, 17, 27, 37, 28, 18, 8, 19, 29, 39, 10, 20, 30, 40, 39, 29, 19, 1, 10, 10, 1, 24, 24, and 34. Go ahead and write how many you have correct. And we're going to get started with part B. We don't need work. Get set. Go. We have one more minute. Thirty seconds.
And that's time. Let's go ahead and go over our answers. All right, so for this one, starting with number one, we have 5, 15, 25, 16, 26, 36, 6, 16, 26, 36, 37, oh, 27, sorry, 17, 7, 18, 28, 38, 10, 20, 30, 40, 39, 29, 19, 1, 10, 10, 1, 29, 29, and 39. All right, so that's all for today, and I hope you guys have an awesome day today, and I'll see you tomorrow.